Hey everybody, this is Kevin McFarland from The Art of Emergency Nursing, and you're listening to 30 Days to Being a Badass ER Nurse. In the next 30 days, I'm going to give you some quick tips and tricks to help you be a better ER nurse. And of course, as always, it's not just me you're going to hear from. I've recruited some of my friends to give you some of their tips and tricks so they can share their knowledge as well. So don't forget to subscribe so that you catch all the episodes. And if you find one of these tips and tricks are really helpful, give me a shout out on social media and share it with your friends. Let's get into today's tip. For today's tip, I'll tell you, it's hard to avoid getting sick when hanging out with all the sickies in the, in the emergency department. For my peds nurse, it's even worse when you're working with those little germ factories. Expect to be sick your first year. Uh, it may not be the flu, but you're going to get something. I have a couple tips to help you avoid catching the crud. One, first tip, most important tip, sanitize and wash your hands like it's your religion. All the time. All the time you should be sanitizing and washing your hands. When you, ever, when you touch anything in a patient's room, whenever you touch the patient, whenever you're going into the room, whenever you're going out of the room, whenever you're going to the bathroom, before you go in, after you go in, wash your hands. Wash your hands all the time. Wash your hands and sanitize all the time. Now, this is especially important if you're going to be sharing the popcorn bowl with the rest of your team. Uh, boy, wash your hands all the time. If I see that you don't wash your hands all the time, I'm going to be a little grossed out with you. I'm not bringing no popcorn to work. That ain't happening. Tip number three, get your flu shot annually. The hospital wants you to do it to keep the patients from getting sick, but you should want it just for you, hopefully to prevent you from getting sick, hopefully to prevent you from getting the flu. The flu sucks. We all know that. So let's try to avoid it if we can. Tip number five, carry a drop pen. Carry an old crappy, you know, those old, you know, cheap Bic pens. Keep one of those. Uh, and then whenever anyone asks you to borrow your pen, whether it's to sign, the patient to sign their DC instructions, another, a doctor, another nurse, whenever they ask you to give them a pen, you can give them this drop pen, pen that you don't care anything about. You don't even care if you get it back because it's a cheap pen. You probably maybe picked it up at a conference or something. Who knows? Uh, but definitely keep a drop pen. Now, the problem is, is if you're like me, I, I tend to play with my touch my pens constantly. Sometimes I catch myself putting them in my mouth, but I try to not do that at work because um, that's gross. Uh, but definitely have a drop pen, something you can just hand people off. And you can, when you're done, you can either take it and wipe it with alcohol or you can trash it all together, depending on what the situation calls for. Tip number five, when you get home from work, I suggest that you keep your shoes in the garage or on the porch. Um, it's best if those filthy things never see the inside of your home. That's just great life advice right there. Keep your dirty shoes out of your house. The minute I get home, I like to strip all my clothes off and jump and go right into the laundry room. And throw my clothes in the washer right from the get-go as soon as I get home from work. This keeps them out of my bedroom, keeps them out of my bathroom, um, and just encourages you to get in the shower faster. Tip number six, I think. Uh, don't be a hero that goes to work sick and infects half the office. If you're sick, stay home. Okay. Once you've get, gotten better, then you can come back to work. It sucks to work short, but it e even sucks worse to be working with Karen and Karen gives you a damn cold that she's car been carrying for the last couple of days. Uh, don't, don't do that. Tip number seven. I'm just going to say it one more time. Wash your damn hands. Wash those hands, sanitize, gel in, gel out. You got to do it. It's gross if you don't. Um, and, and leave your gloves on when you're doing things like starting IVs and such. Don't be the, the person that takes off your gloves and, you know, stuff like that. So wash your hands. Well, that's all the tips I have for you right now. Uh, if you have any that need to be added, shoot me a message on either uh, social media or you can leave a comment on this episode. I hope this helps. Have a great shift. Thanks for listening to the Art of Emergency Nursing Podcast. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast and follow us on Facebook.